Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to my Very Merry Makeup series. So I created this snow ram look, it's very fantasy inspired and I wanted to do my own winter inspired creature so this is a very icy but also a bronzy look and it reminds me a lot of the Chronicles of Narnia because of the horns and also the snow. So if you guys are ready, let's jump right into this snow ram makeup. I'm starting off this look by applying a sheet mask and this is going to really hydrate my skin before the look and I'm applying this and waiting 15 minutes and then you can just rinse off any excess from the mask. I'm going to block out my brows with a washable glue stick and I'm using my blow dryer on cool just to dry them and then I'm going to be going over them with some translucent powder and this will make the brow area really smooth. I'm going to prime my skin using a pretty heavy duty primer and this will really smooth out my skin and I'm also going to be applying this to my neck. Here I'm using an orange cream color and I'm going to color correct the brows with this. I'm also going to add some powder over top and then conceal with a full coverage concealer. And then as a final step, I do use powder foundation over top of the brows. There are a lot of products involved when I do a brow cover typically. For my base, I'm going to apply some foundation and also concealer just to even everything out for this look. Then setting all of that in with some translucent powder. Here I'm doing a little sculpting to my face using a cool tone contouring powder and I'm going to be hollowing out the cheeks, the temples around the eye, and also the nose area. I'm using a dark brown pomade just to create a really straight brow shape. Then topping off the brows with some bronze glitter, and this just sticks right onto the pomade so you don't need to apply an adhesive or anything. I'm applying some eye primer before we jump into the eyeshadows, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend this into the lid. And I'm going to start out the eye look using a medium orangey brown eyeshadow, and I'm placing that into the crease first, and then slowly bringing that into the nose area and under the eye, so basically going all around the eye with this color. Then layering a mustardy orange colored shadow over the top of that. And here I'm placing a matte bone colored shadow on the brow bone. Picking up a dark brown shadow, I'm going to start deepening the eye look and I'm bringing that color down onto the nose area as well. And with this dark brown shadow, I'm creating a more animalistic nose by just darkening the tip of the nose and deepening the lower lash line and outer corner. Picking up the orangey, mustardy eyeshadow, I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line and I'm just bringing this color around the whole eye look so everything blends out into this really faded orange shade. I'm placing this beautiful foiled bronze eyeshadow on the center of the lid and a yellow gold shadow on the inner corners of the eye. I'm now going to apply this bronze glitter all over the lid area and this is the same glitter we used on the brows. With a white eyeliner, I'm going to fill in my waterline and this is going to make the eyes look really big. With a touch of dark brown shadow, I'm going to create a longer lower lash line and I'm just blending this color very lightly into the inner portion of the eye and I'm just dragging it downwards. I'm also going to bring that color into the crease a bit just to darken everything up and deepen. So now you can add mascara and pop on false lashes and I'm also going to be popping on some bottom lashes for this look as well. I'm using a black liquid eyeliner here just to darken that lower lash line that we created. And then adding mascara to those bottom lashes. I'm applying bronzer to the face just to add some warmth and more color to the skin because I want this look to be really warm and bronzy. And for highlight, I'm using a bronze highlighter and this has a yellow gold sheen to it. It's so beautiful with all these brown shades. So at this point, I decided to add some studs above the brows, so I'm laying down an adhesive first and then applying the studs over top. I also wanted to add some freckles, so I'm using these gold temporary tattoo freckles, and I'm sticking them onto the center of the nose and then onto the cheeks as well. For lips, I'm applying a chocolatey bronzy lip color, and this is more of a gloss, so it has a really shiny, glossy finish. 
And for the body, I'm using a warm brown airbrush paint and I'm contouring the chest and shoulders with this. I'm fading in the color so it blends and matches my face. Now I'm gonna add in a golden yellow airbrush paint and I'm gonna bring that over the brown shade and onto the tops of the shoulders, collarbones, and chest area. And I also added some of this color to my face as well. To highlight the body, I'm using a golden loose powder highlight and I did wet my brush before applying this so it makes it even more pigmented and shiny. Lastly, set everything in with a hydrating mist just to break down all of those powders that we just put on. I know how much you guys love seeing my mom in my videos, so she helped me pin on these horns. And then I just added some hairspray to my wig just to style the hair into place. This look would not be complete without some fake snow, and yes, that is fake snow in a Tupperware because that's just how I roll. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this onto the hair and onto the face, basically all over. This is the final snow ram look. If you love this video, be sure to like it and subscribe for more tutorials from me. Thank you all so much for tuning in to my very merry makeup series. Happy holidays, and I will see you in my next video.